Now we move on to our next competitor, Ms. Moth, who has been hibernating in the Tiz's dressing room. <laughs> Sorry about that, Ashley. Last time, Megan Kelly and Monica Lewinsky were guests. But here are some new clues to provide you with some new inspiration. Moth Talk, like a motivational speaker. It's Suze Orman. Thank you, thank you. I never thought in my life that I'd be standing here before you today and even dancing on national television. It was nothing that I expected. You were so regal. I feel pretty confident now, but once I was just a shy little caterpillar trying to figure out my place in the world. We don't always choose the challenges we face, but metamorphosis is inevitable. EAS, are those initials? It was my choice not to allow the traumatic details of my past to define my future. So here is my headline. Ah, more news headlines. She's a survivor. Be brave, be smart, be yourself. Build a new foundation and blossom into the moth you were always meant to be. And this dance will show you just how much I have. Thank you. Wow, she's pretty tall. I think it's someone with a controversial past. Panel, what you think about that performance? You know what, that was really fun. You move really well, really confident. Maybe this is something that is new for you, but you really enjoy it. And that, that comes across when you're dancing. Just really quickly, what I love about these numbers right now in The Masked Dancer, you guys are really are telling a great story from beginning to middle to end, literally a metamorphosis. It is. Yeah, it really, it's more of about nature than dancing to me. And I learned a lot, <laughs> stuff I didn't know biologically. What happened to the really quickly part? Who are you talking to, Craig? <laughs> Come on. Panel, time to play a little game we like to call Word Up. Best seller. Ooh. Best seller? That voice sounds so familiar. Now I'm thinking she's an author. You know what? You may be a model, actually, someone who has a lot of experience on the catwalk. And I feel like this might be Carly Kloss. Last time, in the package, the White House clues, she is related to a lot of people in the White House. And Carly Kloss, we did this YouTube learning series. She taught STEM fields to kids while I taught how to apply the perfect smoky eye. Case in point, Paula. <laughs> From one smart, leggy supermodel to another, Carly Kloss. watching her she doesn't come across as a professional dancer but definitely someone who is very powerful in some capacity i'm getting an amorosa vibe oh she has you know a little controversy here and there also i was thinking about uh megan kelly i do think that she would fit this stature she looks like that i know she's oh. very confident very confident very this yes. woman is a confident woman yeah and megan kelly also had a bestseller hi megan <laughs> <laughs> actually megan kelly was my last guest oh well you're smart <laughs> brian all right go with me on this one all right, all right. we're with you we're with you so, based on the clue package last time, Paula and I thought uh, Monica Lewinsky. But this was a much more vulnerable performance than the last one. I'm thinking she was sort of thrust into the spotlight, not on her own will. She has done TED Talks before. And then the, the dates on the clothesline, date line, the oh, show. Okay. Yeah. And then oh, that's good. there was the Queen Elizabeth photo. I think... This right here is Elizabeth Smart. Oh, that's a great guy. She's been on Dateline, and I don't usually go deep like this, but I have four kids, and I do work for a child safety organization. Elizabeth, she's an advocate of child protection laws, which is how I know of her. And be smart, it said in the yeah. clue package also. Oh. Does she have a bestseller? I don't know. I would assume she did. How do you I mean, know who all would... this stuff about her, but you don't know if she wrote a book? <laughs> I do believe there's a book. I can, I can almost see the cover of it, but I still don't think that's you. 
your physique is beautiful, very tall, although everyone looks taller than me. Um, <laughs> I saw in the clue package, Survivor, Queen Elizabeth, makes me think of Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Ah. She was on the second season of Survivor. Oh, that's right. But then there was a thing of salt yeah. in the package. So I'm going back to Scandalous with the president Circle and back. someone who's salty, and I'm thinking of Kathy Griffin. Oh. Yeah, yeah. She had a major controversy that is true. with the president and had to overcome that. And she did by making a documentary about yes. it. Yes. What, what does the BYU mean for her? It doesn't matter, Ashley. <laughs> Great job. Let's hear from Ms. Moss. Who do you think Miss Moth is? I am dying to know. I am dying. She doesn't come across like your average celebrity. Right. That's, that's more of a mystery than most. These are our panel's Ms. Moth guesses. Are they full of mothballs? Tell us using hashtag the masked dancer.